Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two of the Edison bulb warmers. Those are 40 watt warmers, if you're not familiar with an Edison bulb, um, from our collection. Uh, one of them is going to be discontinued as of March 1st, 2023. So be aware that if you like this one, you may want to jump on it fast. Um, the other one will uh, be continuing through our other catalog. So Without further ado, let's dive in. And, oh, of course Ziggy wants to... Ziggy, stop. Really? See, this is live, everyone. This is real life. You set a timer, and then it goes off right when you're filming stuff. <clears throat> okay, so, at least you know that I'm not sitting here editing for days and days and days and putting in millions of captions. All right, so this warmer that is going to be discontinued, let's start with that one. This is the Amber Glow Warmer. These are, like I said, both Edison warmers. I've been looking at this one and eyeing it for a long time. And I decided finally, since it's being discontinued, like, better now than never. So, this is a very simple but elegant warmer. But I've been kind of curious to see how it stacks up to, like, the old discontinued champagne warmer that I have, which I love. Um, so, you get a sort of amber-ish dish, four cubes at the bottom. So, that just means do not exceed four Scentsy cubes at one time in your warming dish. Otherwise, you will have a waxident, and that's not fun. Um, I find that you generally don't need that many anyways. Um, and if you are using a non Scentsy branded wax, just be aware that your cubes may be bigger or smaller than Scentsy ones, and you may need to adjust accordingly. All right, so this is, like I said, a 40-watt warmer. That means it uses an Edison light bulb. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, Edison light bulbs are these bigger, sort of, like, oblong ones. Um, they We do not, unfortunately, have any colored Edison bulbs at this point, which is... Take it or leave it. Um, so if you are using this for a warmer, you may be able to use a 25-watt colored bulb all right, but anything um, lower than that probably will struggle warming the wax. Um, and I think, oddly, obviously, a 40-watt warmer is going to be your best... 40-watt bulb is going to be your best choice. So just keep that in mind. But if you're using this more as a decorative item in your house, obviously it doesn't matter. You can use LED bulbs. You can use like those color-changing ones like Philip Hughes or something. Just make sure the wattage on the sides fit your warmer properly. I use a lot of ones for decoration, like decorative um, accent lighting as opposed to warming because if I put wax in all of my warmers, that would be nuts. <clears throat> All right, so this is the base of the warmer. As you can see, it's fairly simple. There's not a whole lot to it. Very clear, um, slight, I wanna say, oh, it's not really a frosting. I think that's just dust. Um, so it's like, oh, it's slightly frosted. No, it's not. Let me see if I can wipe that down just a tidbit before I put the bulb in. Okay, so it's slightly, it's, it's not quite, I don't know if you can really see. It's not a completely clear, shiny glass on the inside like it is on the outside of it. It just looks like it has the hintest, slightest hint of like a frost on it. Um, all right, so let's put our bulb in. That'll probably be better so it's not quite as bright. All right. So bulb is in. All right. So this in the base core of it, this is the warmer. All right, so where we have something fancy are these little attachments. This comes separately. It's in there in a small bag. Just be careful. These are gold electroplated leaves. Um, from what I understand about electroplating, which is not a whole lot, these are actual leaves that have been uh, processed in a way that now they are like this fancy little... Ele you can Google electroplating. I probably should have looked it up. But you get this lovely little chain. You can, or if you don't want to, you don't have to put it on there. Um, and it comes with three different styles of leaves. I think they'll all be slightly different and unique because they're supposed to be like real leaves. Um, but you just put it around the lip of your warmer at the top, and then you can adjust them however narrow or um, spacious as you want them. So I'll kind of do them like this for now, just for our demo, okay? And that's it. That's a very simple warmer. It's very elegant and understated. But for someone who doesn't necessarily want a big, bright, shiny, uh, elaborate mosaic warmer or something with a lot of like glitz or a lot of texture, this might be just beautiful and perfect for your space. So with that being said, let me plug this in and we'll take a look at what it looks like. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. 
And honestly, it's really pretty. It's, it's such an understated warmer, but it has just enough. And I think, I think we get caught up with having a lot of warmers that are very elaborate and fancy and patterns and designs and textures and glitter and sparkles. And they're all the great. Like, I love that stuff. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes you just need something simple that works. And to be quite honest, if you're looking for bang for your buck in terms of scent throw, um, I personally feel like 40 watt warmers in general throw better. So it's not always the case because there are some times where you get a warmer that doesn't perform how you expect it to. But generally, the higher the wattage on a warmer, the more powerful the scent throw is. But the other side of it is it may um, not be as long as lasting. Whereas if you have a lower wattage bulb, it may not be as strong of a scent throw in your room, but it may linger for a longer period of time. Again, that is very subjective based on the type of warmer and the style and is it glass or ceramic or metal or hot plate or bulb warmer. So there's a lot of factors in there. I should probably do a video on that at some point. Um, just like warm, warm, warmer and bulb and wax 101. But, um, Keep in mind, like, I, I think most of my main warmers nowadays uh, for my bigger areas or rooms tend to either be Edison warmers like this one or 25 watt warmers because they just tend to perform really well and consistently. Um, if you don't like bulb warmers, look for a hot plate warmer. Um, we do have some of the element warmers. Um, don't necessarily downsize a warmer just based on its wattage when it's a heating plate, though, because some of those smaller ones will really outshine and some of the bigger ones will do great, but some of them are just like, eh. So again, everything's subjective, but generally speaking, the higher the wattage, the stronger the throw, but the shorter the duration, the lower the wattage, the softer the throw, but the longer the duration. And that was my long soliloquy in the middle of the Ember Glow Warmer, but it's, it's good to remind ourselves, right? So this is, like I said, it's very simple, very understated. I'm sure you could get a different type of chain or something and put it on here if you didn't like this, or you could just leave it off altogether. Let me just to give you an idea, let me pop this off if you just wanted the warmer by itself. So it still looks, you know, really nice and simple and elegant, but um, I don't know, I think I like it. Uh, it's just a nice subtle one, and I love the the tone of the amber. It's It's a soft lighter amber. It's not like a orange, 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 orange amber. So that's that. All right. So that is the amber glow warmer. Like I said, this one will be discontinued um, at the end of this month, fe February. So if you do want one of these, um, you grab one before supplies run out or, you know, they may, it may show up in a clearance sale, but that's not a guarantee. So I know like sometimes you can get a better deal in our clearance section months or so later don't don't hold your breath if it's something that you're really eyeing because there's a good chance that sometimes they sell out and then you're really out of luck. All right, the other warmer that I got that is an Edison warmer that we're gonna talk about is the Vino warmer. And this is another one I've been eyeing for forever. I like the idea of it. And at the time I didn't really have a place or a purpose or a desire to get it. And now I have a nice little bar cart and I like the sort of like elegant Edison rustic theme. That's kind of where I'm going with everything nowadays, modern clean lines. Um, and so I was like, why not get a warmer that is tall and narrow to sit on my bar cart? So again, Edison bulb, nice big chunky bulb. And this warmer is designed to look like, as you might guess, a wine bottle. Shocker. All right, so this is, this is our dish. It's another clear dish. Interestingly, I think this is because this is an older um, warmer. The warmer dish does not have our logo on the bottom, nor does it have a warning on cube size um, or cube maximum. I would guess just because it's a full size warmer that it probably follows the same four cube maximum. Um, but uh, since as of late, they've been more diligent about putting that number on the bottom. So this is interesting to see a warmer that does not have that. All right. It could also just be because it's a more open form warmer and that might, you know, interfere with the aesthetic of it. So this is the top of our wine bottle. This is our lid, if you will. I love the um, sort of metal wiring work with this. Um, I'm glad it's not like um, wicker or something that's like impossible to clean. Like this could be wiped down pretty easily or rinsed off if you needed to. Um, 
I love it. It's very, very simple. Um, and it's like a dark, it's like a dark espresso finish. It's not black. I don't know if it picks it up on the camera, but it is a dark um, sort of espresso brown color, just so you're aware if you are like trying to make sure it matches with your decor. Um, it is not black. <clears throat> if you do want a an Edison warmer that is black, I recommend the Shining Light Warmer. It is gorgeous. I have, I think I have four of them now because I'm obsessed with how well they perform and how um, simple and understated they are and they work with like every aesthetic possible because it's just a simple lantern. Um, all right, so that one is black. That was the story behind that one. So let me pull this out. Oh, there's a lot of packaging on these. Surprised. So it looks like there is actually a glass uh, insert that goes inside of the base, which is interesting. I didn't expect that. Although I guess that would make sense because the dish probably just sits on that rather than directly on the metal work. Let me pull this out. There's a lot of a lot of packaging, which is good. I that's one thing I'll say about Sensi. Um, they do not skimp on the packaging. So generally it's rare that you'll get a, uh, an order received that is damaged, but it does happen like everywhere. We're all, companies are all, you know, there's human error involved with everything. Yeah, so, all right, so this is the base of our warmer. And it's, this is a pretty tall warmer, like even without anything else on it. Like this is, this is a giant warmer. In fact, you could probably even fit a wine bottle in there if you took the, uh, um, bulb socket out of there so it is it is a sizable meaty like there's my head there's the ginormous this is like the giant wine bottle where he's like extra large all right so let me put the bulb in first and then we'll put the um glass shield thing around it and then i'll put our other stuff and we'll take a look all right so that's in nicely so like i said it does come with this glass piece it's all nice and wrapped up safely for transportation. Um, and this is very similar to, oh, it's a little bubbled too, it's cute. Um, it's similar to the aesthetic on the Shining Light Warmer. Uh, that one has more of like a wavy glass finish versus a um, bubbling, if you will, but I don't think it matters. And that just kind of sits inside. So be aware that it will shift around a little bit. Um, if you are moving this around, it doesn't have a little track on the bottom to just slide or click into. And then your dish will sit on that glass piece inside. Okay. And then you go in and finish the whole thing with your lid there. So this is the completed warmer. Looks quite pretty, even without being lit up. So let me plug it in. And then we'll go to town with it and see what we've got. Oh, this is gonna look so great on my bar cart. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. And there we go. So it gives that lovely um, sort of Edison vintage but also modern vibe. It's a nice clean warmer. It's I like the Edison bulbs because they are more of that um, yellowish tone amberish tone to the to the lighting versus our clear bulbs which are a little bit more like white based um it gives it just a little bit more of a warmth to these warmers which i also appreciate and i love that again it's open open work so up here even though it has this big dome lid it's not just like a completely enclosed thing so whatever you're warming will have plenty of room to diffuse into the room i love it i think it's gorgeous i uh like I said, I didn't really have a place or a reason to get this for the longest time. And now that I have a little bar cart set up, this is going to be perfect there. I kind of wish they'd had like a, um, we used to have like a, um, warmer, I think it was an element warmer that was like, a like a China sort of like, what is it called? Oh my gosh. Like a teacup with it's like dish. I kind of wish they did some like modern take on that with like metal work. That would be kind of fun. But anyways, that is the Vino Warmer. This is uh, available currently. It is not going to be discontinued in March. So if you are eyeing it or you want to wait and get it later, as of right now, it is safe to get later. So I'm glad to be adding this to my collection. And I hope this video was helpful. I hope you liked both of these warmers. I'll put them on the ground so I don't like drop them as I finish this video. But 
Um, if you are new here, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to email me directly. I'll put my info in the comment box below and feel free to let me know how you think of these warmers. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in our next video. Take care guys. Bye.